Hello folks, so welcome to this problem solving session. So only learning theory will not help you. So you'll have to do a lot of problem solving to get accustomed to the rules and the laws which we discussed. So let us take these four uh, problems. After this, you can also download the worksheets and try the problems on your own. And if you are finding any difficulty, you can always reach out to us. So I have taken four questions or four simple, very, very simple problems here just to illustrate the uh, the rules and the laws which we just learned in the previous sessions now first one is 3 to the power 3 into 3 to the power 2 so first one if you see 3 to the power 3 into 3 to the power 2 so this uh, this thing the thing which comes to my mind in, uh, is nothing but a to the power m into a to the power n right if you see the bases are same the powers are different right so bases are same powers are different this first rule should come to your mind so a to the power m into a to the power n is equal to a to the power m plus n so it is simply 3 into 3 plus 2 which is 3 to the power 5 now it is also my duty to highlight few a few ways where you make mistakes so there are cases where if this is given instead of multiplication a plus sign is given and i have seen people adopting this rule and writing this as which is a mistake this is not equal to so please be very careful whether it is a multiplication sign or it is a plus sign if it is a plus sign then it is a case of addition and then how to solve this then then you have to take some uh, common things what what is it so it is nothing but 3 into 3 into 3 and the other one is 3 into 3 isn't it so if you see 3 square is common so it will be 3 square and what is left within brackets 3 and then this is plus 1 isn't it so if you can see if you open it you will get the same thing so hence it is nothing but 3 square into 4 which is different from 3 to the power 5 can you see that so please be very very careful let us now take question number 2 question number 2 is 6 to the power 8 divided by 6 to the power 3 is it it now divided by that means this is nothing but 6 to the power 8 6 to the power 6 to the power 8 divided by 6 to the power 3 isn't it which the moment i say this i can see the base is same and it is a quotient form so it is 6 8 to 8 minus 3 by which rule a to the power m by a to the power m is equal to a to the power m minus n okay so hence please be very very careful and hence it is 6 to the power 5 simply whatever is the value then third what is the third one third one says 3 to the power 3 whole to the power 2 so 3 to the power 3 whole to the power 2 which rule will be applicable applicable rule will be a to the power m whole to the power m is equal to a to the power m n right m times n so hence it is really not, it is nothing but 3 to the power 3 into 2 3 to the power 3 to the power 3 into 2 which is nothing but 3 to the power 6 okay and going to the fourth one is 4 by 3 to the power minus 2 so 4 by 3 to the power minus 2 is nothing but 1 upon 4 by 3 to the power 2 by which rule a to the power minus 1 is nothing but 1 upon a to the power 1 is it so hence it is nothing but 1 upon then 4 square by 3 square again by which rule a to the power a sorry a by b to the power m is equal to a to the power m divided by b to the power n b to the power n by this rule so hence now it is 1 divided by 4 square by 3 square which you know by your previous knowledge it is 1 multiplied by 3 square by 4 square which is 9 upon 16 this is how you have to solve using sim this was a simple exercise we just use the four rules which we learned to solve these problems in the next session we'll take up level 2 problems